In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to teleport your character between scenes and showing up in the right spot. So right now we're in a basic scene that we're working on for our game, and it's a pretty asymmetrical scene, so we've gone ahead and we've set up the doors with numbers above them so you can tell which one is what. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is go into our scripts folder and create a new script. We'll go ahead and call that scene exit. So let's go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. Once there, the first thing that we're going to do is go up to line four and say using unity engine dot scene management. Then we'll go above our start function and we'll say public string scene to load. We don't actually need our start function or update function, so we'll go ahead and delete that now and replace it with a void on trigger enter function. Now in the curly brackets, we're going to say scene manager dot load scene and feed it the parameter of scene to load. All right, now let's save that and go back into unity. Now, in order for this to work, we're going to have to put our scenes into the build order. To do that, we're going to go to File, Build Settings, and drag and drop the scenes that we want to be traveling between. In this example, we've already set up some boxes that we want to serve as our doorways into the other scene, and then places for them to return as the little people in front of them. So we're going to go ahead and drag and drop our script onto all four of our little doors. On top of that, we're also going to be adding a box collider to each of them and set it to is trigger. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and click on our first door go into scene to load. And for this one, we're going to say blue int main, which is the scene we have here. So let's go ahead and load that scene up. And for all four of those doors, we're going to add in a box collider set to is trigger and then add in our script. For now, though, let's focus on our number one companion door. The scene we want to load is main city, which is the scene we just came from. With that in mind, let's head back to main city and see how this looks in play mode. All right, it looks like everything works. Now there's just one problem. You see, our player isn't actually teleporting to this other scene. You can tell by looking at the hierarchy. If our player was teleporting or being preserved between scenes, he would be under a separate folder called Don't Destroy on Load. As you can see, what's actually happening is we just have two player objects, one in this scene and one in the other. Let's fix that. To do that, we're going to go into our scripts folder and we're going to make a new script and we're going to call it Player Script. Let's go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. First thing we're going to do is go above our start function and type out public static player script and then call it instance. And then inside of our start function, we're going to say if instance is not equal to null, destroy game object. And then we'll go beneath that and say else instance is equal to this. Finally, we're going to go beneath our if statement and we're going to say don't destroy on load and feed it the parameter of game object, lowercase g. Then save that. Let's go back into our project get rid of the other player object in the other scene, go back to the main scene, then we're going to drag and drop our new script onto our other player, and let's try this out in play mode. Easy way to tell is we close our scene folder, and you can see that, yep, there it is. Our player is in the don't destroy on load scene. But if we go into the other scene, he's still there, but there's a problem. When the scene loads, it's actually taking our player object that's not being destroyed, and it's resetting its transform to zero. To fix that, we're going to exit play mode and we're going to go into our scripts folder and into our scene exit script. Then we're going to type public string exit name. Then we're going to go above our scene manager line and we're going to type player prefs dot set string last exit name and we're going to feed it the string we just made exit name. Then we're going to go back into our project because we got one more script to make. Go into our scripts folder and call this one scene entrance. And we'll go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. So first thing we're going to do is say public string last exit name. And then we'll go into our start function and say if player press dot get string parentheses last exit name is equal to last exit name. Then if you remember, our player script is actually set to an instance so we can access it from wherever we want. We'll say player script dot instance dot transform dot position is equal to transform dot position. We'll go beneath that and do the same thing, except transform.eulierangles is equal to transform.eulierangles. This is going to take the instance of our player, which there will only be one, and transform his position to wherever this game object is that has this component. All you have to do is put this on a game object that's preferably right in front of your scene exit. That way when he shows back up into the scene, he'll show up right where he left the scene from. Now you're going to name the last exit name, something that connects it to its partner scene exit. In our case, we're just going to call it blue int main one. Now we're going to do the same thing for this scene exit, except it's going to be partnered with the scene entrance in the other scene. So we're going to give it the exit name of main city one. So going into the other scene, let's set up the partner's exit and entrances. 
for our guy in front of door one. We'll call his last exit name main city one, which partners him with the exit that we just left in the other scene. And then for the exit, we'll give it the exit name of blue int main one, which will partner it with the scene entrance in the other scene. Let's go back into that other scene and see if this all works. And there you go, we teleport to the other scene, we're not getting destroyed, and we show up in the right spot in both cases. I'm just going to go ahead and montage all these other doors, just so you can see you can have as many of them as you want and everything will work fine. And there you go. Everything works. We can go in and out of the scene as many times as we like through whatever door and we'll always show up in the right spot. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and comment if you have any questions. We try to answer as many as we can and we'll see you next time.